Hey guys, and welcome back to POV Gaming. Well, we're back here in Teardown, this little impressive game. I have been so shocked <laughs> about how entertaining this little guy is so far. So, let's turn that off for now. <laughs> New message, let's see. Classic cars. Uh, fantastic work at the marina. Looks like it worked because they just cleared a construction permit from the new dock. Another thing came up. There was this classic car auction up in Black River the other day, and one guy kept overbidding me. Lawrence Lee Jr. A youngster who inherited the chemical plant a few years ago. Absolutely no interest in cars. He's just looking for ways to rotate his dirty money. Yep. <clears throat> it's a Gus Scheidel. I think that's correct. B50. The only one that they use in Steal the Deal 2 in Colonial Wilson's personal... Okay. Uh, I don't know what it is. Can you help me acquire those two gems? Take good care of them. Ooh. Okay. We'll do. Let's see our tools first before we start going. Shock. This is so weird that we have a shotgun. Okay. <laughs> it's so, so strange. Okay. Uh, we can't upgrade the blowtorch, but I don't think I need that right now. You know what? Score. Uh, which? Where are we going for this? Uh, mission. Oh, classic cars. So we're in the same spot. Get the two classic cars for Gordon. Drive them to the marked area in the back of the truck, if possible. Also, pick up spare parts and vehicle registration documents. Okay. So, if you guys didn't watch the first two episodes, like if this is somehow your first time watching, this game completely shocked me. I seen it on Steam, did not read it all the way through. I was like, this looks cool. It looks like a, a type of game where, um, you know, you it's like a demolition company type of game. Like, the type of games that I am um, super into. But this ended up being, like, such a cool and different experience. Um, there's so much more to it, and it's... It's kind of the, it's kind of cute, you know, the way it looks, the way it plays, everything about it is just really cool. Um, why, why I got a shotgun? I don't understand. I'm sure it's gonna come into play right away here. So it looks like the very first thing we can do here is um, wire alarm boxes is breaking alarm box or triggers the alarm. Okay, so we'll have to leave those ones for last. Where is this located in the building? Kind of in the back, okay. I think the offices were upstairs in this building last time we came in here. Ah, yes, okay. Pick up the target. So this, this is alarmed. We're gonna keep that in our mind for right now. Cause we do not want that to happen right off the bat. So. There's a car in the warehouse and there's a car on the ship. And there's also some spare parts in the warehouse as well. So let's make our way over there. Um, I'm assuming this is all going to be locked, but so I'm still this week. You know what, guys? I do not want to make the same mistake I did last time. My apologies for the last two videos. I did not realize how, <laughs> how crazy the audio was. And you can see how low this is. Already and it's super loud, so hopefully this isn't too low. Give me some feedback. Tell me, tell me if it ends up being a little bit too low, because when I have my headphones on, it seems to be quite loud. Okay, this actually just opened up, no problem. Okay. okay, so it's on the ship. So we'll grab this one first. Interesting, so it will only let me in if I'm in a, in a vehicle. Okay. Let's open. Alrighty, nothing, nothing of use in here. Anything good in here? 
So there's the vehicle. Okay. Wait a minute. Ooh. This looks like it's armed. What does it say here? Um, breaking the alarm boxes or trigger wiring. Well, okay. Uh, okay. Our escape vehicle is right there. Try to figure out. Like, I think I have to just reverse it onto this dock right here, right? It's really the only spot I could think of uh, that would work. The fact that everything in this game is like usable is so amazing to me. Like, oh boy. Okay, let's pull this this way. Then we'll just pretty much wedge it right onto the slip ramp there. Clever girl. It even has like the. <laughs> now we're gonna do a quick save because I'm assuming that this is gonna trigger something. So let's just see what happens. There's also a car in the warehouse too, which is crazy that we have to do all this. Hmm. There we go. <clears throat> Take care of that. <laughs> yeah, and this one also has a this is going to be interesting, because usually, in, in, in any game where I'm under pressure, especially if there's like a timer going on, I will flub up controls so bad doing it, so let's see how this goes. So all I'm trying to do here is I'm gonna try to clear this out a little bit. There we go. Vehicle should be right in here. Very fancy. Very fancy indeed. This one I can see though that I can take it out. Pretty pretty far, I think. Okay. <laughs> She's a rumbling and a tumbling. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh my god. What even happened? I think I barely even touched the gate. Okay. I don't believe the g <laughs> I don't believe the truck has an engine anymore. <laughs> but let's uh let's keep going. That's jokes, I think. I'm 
try to remove that chunk without causing any damage to the vehicle that's on the bed here. This is the vehicle that we're doing this on, right? Okay, you guys, so... Apparently I just have to drive it to here, so... We're gonna see. I hope they give us a little bit extra time here, but we'll see how this goes. So let's do this. Oh, blast! It's just a, just a quick thing. Oh, what am I doing? No! No, bad memory! <laughs> oh, we're out of here, coppers. You know what though, I don't know how one could realistically get the other documents though. That 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 one would seem pretty hard. What was this? <laughs> it's showing me being a dumbass. Durr! The tinder! <laughs> okay, let's continue. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Hmm, interesting. What do I feel like something bad's about to happen? You know what I mean? Like I'm getting like bad vibes. <laughs> bad vibes. Uh, nothing new. Let's see what's going on here. I do love how they have this. Two classic cars were reported stolen from the West Point Marina last night. Just typical luck has not been on my side recently, says Lawrence Lee Jr., who has brought the oh bought the cars at an auction just a few days ago that's pretty cool I'm pretty sure it even showed where the boat where we had dropped our boat let's see we got a new message here <clears throat> I've been up all night digging through login devices and managed to find a connection at the West Point Marina I've been able to figure out more on BT, but Lawrence has a warehouse in West Point. I guess uh, whatever fishy business ah ha 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 he has there, uh, the marina is not the final destination. I was thinking that the boat GPS can give me an idea where he's moving product, especially if we could compare the recent destination to the shipping one. Can you get them for me? Yeah, I can. Oh. Uh-oh. You don't know me, but I've had a series of break it's <laughs> shit um, recently. But the the one I lost, two very rare cost of cars. And guess what? I know who did it. Gordon Wu, the absolute prick. He's not breaking to everybody at the club. He has his two... Okay. Break-ins caused me a lot of property damage. I like Gordon, the taste is almost And Since you're in the demolition industry, I thought, well, you know, it's going to work out. It sounds interesting. The car will... Oh, man. Vila Gordon. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm into doing this one right off the bat. 
You know what though? I am taking it in that I did not make any cash from what I've been doing. <laughs> okay. You know what? Well, well, we're gonna hold off on the uh, the cop mission. Let's get straight into it. Let's that's let, let's help out Gore. <laughs> let's help out Lee a little bit. We've been kind of fucking with him this whole time. <laughs> oh, this is very fancy. Okay. Uh, wired alarm box is breaking and alarm box are triggering. Or wire triggers the alarm. This is quite the substantial building. So he has his vehicle here. So we are actually going to completely fuck up this building. And I'm totally down with it. Who's down with that? I know I am. Apparently, I actually have to take these and dump them into the water. Which would have been beneficial. You know what? Let's restart the mission. <laughs> it now makes it makes a lot of sense on why there's tires there, what it wants me to do. I should have I should have been paying attention. I bet a majority of what I just did is gonna get cut out. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense now though. So I was starting to get worried when I was seeing like why how much punishment I was actually doing there. That was pretty crazy. Oh, get beans, man. Let me, let me, uh, I'll get back to you guys in a second. I'm pretty sure I have to steal all the same stuff again. Nothing of great value. That one is. Whoa. Whoa, boys. We have made some money with this thing. Yes. Oh boy, it's actually kind of good that we restarted because I would have never come up here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> this guy's poorhouse. I feel like I'm feeling a little bit bad. <laughs> Take its buzz to corpse. To the ducks. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, by the way, this is what the bulldozer did to it. <laughs> I would think that this would be considered a write off, but I still need to throw it into the lake. <laughs> so let's do that. F in the chat, boys. This lifeless corpse has been <laughs> turned to the sea. A lot of all these are never going to be a clean job. They're all going to be crazy. So, what I'm figuring is, the little plan that I got going is... is uh... So, the plan I got is... It'll be like this. So, let's <laughs> just smack into it. So, we have this vehicle that's sitting right here. Okay? Right? And it, it wants us It wants us to, like, take a vehicle, get into the water, destroy it, right? But we're not going to have very much time to do that. So, I'm just trying to see. That has to be the bare bones minimum distance that's some ooh that is quite the quite the drop we might have to go with that path the one where we take the other vehicle so I'm gonna leave this vehicle right here like so and the plan is maybe we'll take the red car because I don't think <laughs> I'm gonna have the luck to drive the vehicle and it's just gonna go Bloody flying. I understand there's a ramp right there though. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's try one. We we got our we got our quick saves, we can always try this out. Because uh for the most part we kind of already made like a pretty massive hole and everything. So let's try this out. 
Okay, guys, here we go. Run, boys! <laughs> Look at this. That is pretty wicked. What a cool game. Such a cool game. <laughs> Though I, I do wonder, there has to be other, other things in the game that I'm not aware of. Because um, the thing that I'm thinking of is there's three other ones. Like, how would you have everything set up in such a way where you can get all of them and then get out of there? Anyways, continue on. Oh, I reached a new rank, guys. Well, I want to say thank you guys all for joining me here again on um, Teardown on POV Gaming. Um, if you like the video, give it a like. A carrots, guys. <laughs> and if you dislike the video, give it a dislike. Maybe uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you are interested in seeing new content pretty much every single day. We release pretty much everything under the sun. Uh, we have a great series right now of Satisfactory where me and my bro are doing a co-op online series. And there's also a long running series that just ended, but I definitely recommend it to you, uh, the Proteus. It is a 90s style FPS shooter, um, and if it was a 90s style FPS shooter with a 2015 computer hardware behind it. <laughs> Until next time, guys, thank you all for watching. Peace out, and take care. Stay safe out there.